it's fantastic to be back in Mumbai. I'm very proud of the fact that I've been Prime Minister for two and a half years, and this is my second visit to India, because I want Britain and India to have a really special relationship. And, um, and I thought this was the place to come, because it was over 100 years ago that the first bars of sunlight soap left Liverpool docks and came to India, and judging by things, things have come along quite a long way in <laughs> Unilever since then. And I brought with me the biggest ever business delegation to leave Britain's shores. And I'm really proud to be bringing them here uh, to meet with Indian businesses and to link up our countries. India's rise is going to be one of the great phenomena of this century. And it is incredibly impressive to see the vibrancy of your democracy, the great strength of the diversity of your country, and the enormous power of your economy that is going to be one of the top three economies by 2030. And that's why I'm here. Britain wants to be your partner of choice. We think there are huge ties, obviously, of history and language and culture and business, but we think we've only just started on the sort of partnership that we could build. Yes, it's a partnership about business, but as my delegation today proves, it should go way beyond business. I bought some of Britain's biggest and best companies here to India, but I've also brought the Premier League, I've brought some of our top universities, the British Museum. We want to tie up in so many different ways uh, with your culture, your companies, your businesses, and of course your people. And I think that's an important point. The business relationship is already strong. Britain is the biggest European investor into India. India puts half of its investment in Europe into my country in Britain. So we have that relationship, but we should build on it. And as I said, this is a relationship about the future, not the past. We are very excited by the fact that you're planning 40 million more university places, and we want to help you provide them. We're very excited by the fact that you're going to be doubling your spending on health as a share of your GDP, and we want to help you provide those services. As I said, we look at the power and the growth of your economy, and we see amazing opportunities. For instance, we're now looking with your government about whether we can open up a whole corridor between Mumbai and Bangalore of uh, growing towns and development and work and plan that with you. But as well as these business relationships and these cultural relationships, I think the relationships between our countries can go even further than that. You are the largest democracy in the world. We're one of the oldest democracies in the world. You have incredible diversity of different religions living in your country. Britain is the same. And yes, we both face this extraordinary and difficult challenge of fighting terrorists and terrorism in our midst, and I want us to meet that challenge together. We have uh, over one and a half million people of Indian origin living in the United Kingdom, and that strengthens the ties. And I'm very proud that I've brought British Indian businesses back here to India. I have British Indian parliamentarians from all parties as part of my delegation to show the ties between our countries. So as far as I'm concerned, the sky is the limit. It's about business, economy and trade, but it's also about culture, it's about politics, it's about diplomacy. India is going to be one of the leading nations in this century, and we want to be your partners, and that's why I'm here today.